So the name of our organization is BESO, which stands for Bilingual Education Student Organization. So the whole point of BESO is to reach out to um, kids in high school or overall just kids that don't have that role model. So the BESO organization, um, the students created it to just be able to come together and uh, support one another, but also to reach out to high school students and middle school students who are considering the path of teaching, or maybe not even considering the path of teaching, but should be considering the path of teaching, um, in order to support them along their journey to see what does this look like um, in their future. As a high school student, or even before that, I would see my multilingualism as a disadvantage because I thought that my Spanish, which is my first language, would hinder with my English development. We need more of um, teachers of color, so that's what we try to do is like reach out to those students, especially like first generation, encourage them to become educators and be become that person that a lot of um, students need. Yeah, so our Grandview students are very interested in supporting students in middle school and high school because they were just there and they know what it feels like and they remember the questions and they remember the uncertainties and they want to reach into those places and be those uh, peers to support and pull along the students um, who are in middle school and high school. Advocating for bilingualism slash multilingualism as well as making sure that uh, other students who are perhaps deciding to go into education and are multilingual that they know that they have so much possibilities and potential in that field. It's harder when like someone doesn't look like you and you're, you think, oh, maybe that person doesn't understand me and so then that makes you not want to ask questions because then they think, then you think, oh, like what I'm asking might be stupid because all, all, all the other students already probably know this. And just having like that person that looks like me, just like that even looks like me, it's already like a next step of like comfort. These students need to see themselves as college goers and our students can speak into what it looks like to get to college. They're particularly interested in them becoming teachers because there's that shortage. Um, but you know, we have a lot of kids in our BESO group that aren't educate in educators we have liberal arts and we have biology and we have a Spanish major and we have you know just a variety of majors in that BESO group um, who feel this call to go and reach out and talk to um, themselves two or three years ago. <laughs> so I, ha I think that having that sense of community is important and uh, especially one that kind of advocates for your strengths instead of making it seem like a weakness. Being a teacher and then being of color encourage those students to become teachers as well. You know, and um, just that step is encouraging to them and opening the door for them to go on to college. And then maybe they don't want to be a teacher, but they want to be a police officer. And just having that teacher that understands them right away and like encourages them, gives them more of like, and um, inspires them to become something else.